Hi there darlings, welcome back to the Anonymous YouTube channel. My name is Tatiana and this is the last video we're going to be posting for the year and it's also the ABF or absolutely bloody final modeling clay tutorial we're going to see for the year. Uh, we're going to be making this really cool sort of sugar skull come Santa Claus come that me before Christmas kind of pendant. Uh, very cool, very quick, very funky, very easy. And yeah, I'm going to cut the crap and get into what you're going to need and how long it's going to take. See you soon! <laughs> Alright, you know this part, we need to soften up the clay. Alright, cool. Using a combination of rolling and stretching, we're going to try and achieve the skull-like shape that we need for this pendant. Remember, creative license, all yours. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you're enjoying doing it and it looks awesome. Alright, cool. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be in business now, would I? <laughs> Alright, cool. Using the dapping tool again, push in, circular movements. On surf, we have the beginning of an end socket. Yeah, cool. All right. All right, man and creamy pup. We are on the way to getting this sugar skull made. All right, cool. Second socket down. There we go. Quite happy with the shape. All right, now moving on to the nose. Using the smaller dapping tool, we're going to create the nose. If you know me quite well, which you should do by now, I always make a heart because uh, I think it's girly and it's cute and it just makes it less scary. Alright, using the exquisitely sharp hobby knife, we are going to be slicing in the details of the skull, namely at this point, the teeth. As I've said in a previous tutorial, when doing the vertical lines for the teeth or vertical incisions, try to stagger them instead of doing solid vertical lines, otherwise it looks more like a grid than a set of teeth. Alright, remember to use the wooden cuticle pusher to bevel uh, both sides of each incision, thus making the teeth look more teeth-like. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm rolling out some clay beads. We're going to use these um, in decorating the skull. I'm going to be using some black ones to decorate uh, the eyes. So there we go. Now, when you're applying these beads to the eyes or the skull, you can either press the bead onto the skull and use the dapping tool to flatten it. Or my preferred method, which is a bit quicker and easier, is to use the dapping tool to flatten the bead and then apply it to the skull. Alright, here we're making up the holly leaf, so warm up and roll out some clay into the shape of a leaf. I'm going to use the dapping tool to create the indentations on the sides. There we go, you'll see it in more detail just now. And then just use the hobby knife to cut the main vein down the leaf. And again, don't forget that wooden cuticle pusher to do the beveling. Alright, so this is how I created the edges. fast forward quickly and there we go I've added some berries as you can see I've used the red beads and yeah there you go same technique is for the eyes now I'm going to use the cake decorating tool to create some incisions that I'm going to use for positioning nail art gems and rhinestones all right cool now we're going to roll out some clay for the lips to make it funky okay roly burly snakey wakey Wakey wakey, hands off snakey, haha, uh -huh. who remembers that show? Alright cool, so now we're just adding the lips to the skull, just squeezing it, smushing it on. Alright, and there we go, using some movie magic, we're going to do the bottom lip. Uh -huh. Now for the hole, for the pendant. All right, now that he's been baked, using a combination of magical alchemic ingredients like super glue and rhinestones, we're gonna turn this little clay pendant into something a bit more spectacular and eye-catching. All right, I'm using a rhinestone to put the sparkle back in his eye, but using a combination of these and nail art gems, you can add whatever zhuzh and sparkle you want to the piece. Remember, you want it to stand out. Well, that's all we've got time for in this video. Thank you very much for your love and support. Uh, if you haven't otherwise done so, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom. 
Uh, don't forget to like the videos that you like. But click the actual like button. That helps support us YouTube creators. Uh, if you haven't otherwise found us on other platforms yet, check us out. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, pretty much all over the place. You'll see. <laughs> uh, again, thank you for your support. I know there have only been a few videos that, that I've brought out, but already there's been a heck of a lot of love and support, so thank you very much. Um, if you've got any ideas, anything you want to see made, any just anything on your mind, please drop it in the comments section below, and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Season's greetings. Have a very safe festive season and we'll see you in the new year. And yeah, you can look forward to some exciting changes coming up. Cool. Love you lots. See you soon. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Bye.